without you without me without my brother without my cousin Kenya is not Kenya in the bible ecclesiastes it is written there is a time for everything even south sudan is threatening kenya this small country is threatening in kenya they tell kenya they can bring troop even uganda the poorest country in africa is threatening kenya with this witch seven son of Museveni one day he wake up and said they can attack Kenya Naivasha I'm telling you this William Ruto and your government let's put this to an end we know very well Kenya we've come a long way and, and we've come far, far, far away. Without you, without me, without my brother, without my cousin, Kenya is not Kenya. Let us not burn this country. Let us not turn this country where it was in a colonial rule. We have our own freedom. Kalenjin is my brother. I am a play. I am a Nailot, River Lake Nailot. Kikuyu is my brother. Giriama is my brother. Everybody in this country, every tribe in this country, we are one. We are one under one God. We are one under one Son. We are one. Under one nation, we are one. Under one African content, it is our time to fight for what we know it's our right. In the Bible, Ecclesiastes, it is written, there is a time for everything. There is a time to mourn. There is a time to cry and a time to live. We've cried a lot, Kenyans. Oh Lord, where will we get our Savior? The only way and Savior who can save us is only Raila Moludinga. But we know one time, one day, hoping we know there are Kenyans who are sleeping without food there are some Kenyans who are sleeping without going children who are sleeping without going to school there are people who are sick and have don't have money to take them to hospital there are some people who are are in hospital they have no money to clear their bill we have many people in mortuaries who their families have no money to take their corpse home for proper burial i know and i trust in god almighty the creator of universe the creator of earth and all surrounding earth one day kenya will remain great again even south sudan is threatening kenya this small country is threatening in kenya they tell kenya they can bring troops even Uganda, the poorest country in Africa, is threatening Kenya with this witch seven. 
son of Museveni one day wake up and said they can attack Kenya Naivasha. What is Uganda? Uganda can do nothing to Kenyans. The Ugandans ladies are doing jobs in our homes and we welcomed them as a family. But when you go to Migingo Islands, you find Kenyan, Kenyan fishermen are being tortured, denied for their rights. Yet the water is ours. The fish is ours. The Ugandan policemen are torturing Kenyans every now and then. We are we Kenyans we are suffering even in Somali. The government doesn't see that. The what government can do is to kill people who are protesting for their right. People who are un angry with empty stomach, with only saliva and urine in, inside stomach. <clears throat> they are the people who government can deploy thousands and dozens of, dozens of police to deal with. Now, Mandela govern, governor said last time, Al-Shabaab has captured almost 60% of Mandela. President Ruto is looking Raila's second move. We Kenyans, we are friends, Bana. I studied in Rift Valley. They were, no, they were not animals. They were good people. I lived in Rift Valley. The Rift Valley people were good people. And we know William Ruto. And I believe there is something, humanity, small humanity, peace, remain inside you. Remember this nation is our motherland. We cannot die, all of us. There must be people who will remain again. They will stand again and fight for their, for their right. It is my prayer today for everybody who is living in Kenya to God Almighty Father to bless Kenya. May God bless Kenya. May God lift this nation up higher above the sky. May God give us food because this authority is, has failed to feel, feed us. This authority has failed. What it, the authority knew is how to arrest us, to put us in detain, to bring goods in cell, to beat, up, to beat us to death. Is, that is only what they know. God Almighty, you are the true judge, and you are the true king, and you are the true leader. One day, stand with the Kenyans and stand with us forever and ever. May God bless Kenya. Amen. Thank you very much.